What's going on guys, this is your pal Badger. I'm looking to make a new segment of my channel where I make tutorials for RPG Maker VX Ace. Very fun little program to use if you haven't used it before and you're just starting out. This is a good place to start as any. We're going to start off the basics today. We're going to start off with, we don't want to do that because that was already a done project. We're going to get to that in a second. We're going to start off with uh, how to make basic areas and uh, overworld basically how to make a map so of course you know start off your project full screen that it's gonna give you a small body of water to start off with and if you look to your left you'll see a uh, about a half a screen worth of uh, basic just default tiles now this is how it's always gonna be set up you know so if you're doing this you're already on the right track real easy stuff probably didn't need me to tell you that so, uh, of course, to select something, you click on it, you know, obviously. If you want to put it in on the map, there's four different ways you can do that. At the top here, you'll see you have the pencil tool. Self-explanatory, you uh, click and drag, you draw, whatever. Easy stuff. You got the rectangle tool. Uh, you know, you click and drag, you make a box or a rectangle if you so desire. Here you have the circle tool, or the, I guess the uh, ellipse tool, I want to be fancy about it, well, whatever, you know, and you click and drag at that, and you make a quote-unquote circle, if you want to call it that, <laughs> and of course, the last tool is the flood fill tool, pretty self-explanatory, again, but what this tool does is, fills in the whole screen, pretty simple stuff, now, uh, we're going to want to make a village here today, just to basically show you the general idea of, you know, that I, you know, the way that I go about it. Now, uh, to, to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to map 001, default map, right click it, we're going to map properties. Now, just want to go on a side note real, real quick here to say that I'm going to touch on all these things real quick. Uh, I'm not going to even acknowledge this whole counters troop area thing we're gonna get that at some time later but not now the specific things like specify battle back and uh, scroll type we're not worried about that right now we're worried about the most basic of the basics you know like name you know one plus one it's just easy 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 stuff to explain so of course the the width and the height you know basically determines how big your map is let's make it a uh, 20 and 25. Why not? Maybe not. Maybe not 25. That's a bit tall. Let's make it 25 and 20. And uh, look down here. You'll see parallax background. Basically, what that is. Click on this little ellipsis button, and you'll uh, see a bunch of backgrounds. Let's do. Let's do mountains one. Basically, what that is. Anytime you have a square that is not filled in with a tile, this background will show. For example, let me show you, uh, let's go to show in the editor so we can actually see it. Hit OK, and boom, we have a mountain here with some looping down here because it's a really big map. So uh, now what we're going to do is, let's show you what I mean by filling in this spot. And you know, you got the little grass now and you don't see that part of the mountain anymore. Let's fill in the whole thing. And boom, now we got grass again. Now, if I'm gonna make a little village, like I said before, we're gonna about the map properties. Just want to show you that real quick. And uh, <clears throat> we're gonna go to tile set. Since we're having a little uh, village thing, we're gonna go to exterior. So we hit OK. Because field is more or less um, what you want if you're making an overworld. So we're, not, we're, we're gonna do that next, but for right now we're going to do exterior. So we hit OK, and uh, you'll see that the tile sets over here have changed. We now have A, B, and C. We didn't have C tab before, now we have it. So let's make a, let's start with a little house. So we grab that, and we use the uh, rectangle tool just to make it simple for us. Just make a, you know, a little house, something simple. 
slap a roof on it, you know, whatever you want to do. And guys, by the way, I am by no means at all whatsoever a good map maker. <laughs> whatsoever. I mean, I just use a little black square for a door. That's, that's pretty lazy. But uh, I think I get my general point across, you know. You can make a, uh, you know, dirt road or whatever. It can lead to places, you know, why not? Uh, let's see, what else can we do here? Don't forget that you have other tiles to play around with too, so feel free to do that. You can, uh... little tip, by the way, if you click and drag on the tiles, you'll select multiple tiles. And of course, if you click and drag on the screen, you'll get all those selected tiles. We don't want all that, though. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get the tree for now. You know, slap some trees around this bitch get some trees in here. You, I like this little tour here. This looks like there's multiple trees, but it's only good if there's trees are off screen. For instance, you know, you do it like, you know, put some trees there, and you put this, look, there's multiple trees behind it. It's nice. It's sneaky. I like it. it doesn't work by itself, though, because it just, just looks weird that way. Anyway, you know, you have all these little things to work with here. Maybe this guy has a tomato farm with a lot of tomatoes. And maybe he has like, you know, like one radish or something. Slap a scarecrow in the scarecrow, Jesus. Scarecrow in the middle. You know, got some wood. Sprinkle weeds around. Just something, you know, just aesthetically pleasing. I think you guys get the general idea of how to uh, make a an area. For me, an area is a place that you explore like a dungeon. Or, uh, just anything that's like an in-game place to walk around in, like a town or a small village or anything like that. Now, for overworlds, or I guess quote-unquote field, as they say in this game, you're gonna want to, uh, go down here, right-click, and go to New Map. And we're gonna want this to be a little bit bigger, because, you know, it's an overworld. Let's make it, uh, let's make it 25-25. Why not? And we're going to leave it at field because field is the required, not the required, the desired tile set. Hit OK. And uh, you might notice it's, it's pretty big. I mean, it's not as big as it could be, but it's still pretty big. You know, uh, if you have a, a really big area and you're having trouble focusing on all of it at once, if you want a straight view at all of it at the same time, you can go up here. They have a four different uh, view viewpoints. They have one one, one two, one four, and one eight. Of course, you know, one eight's the farthest away, one four, one two. Let's do one two because we can see it easier that way. We can see the whole thing. So we're gonna fill it in with grass or you know, whatever you guys want to fill it in with. It's your overworld. You do whatever you want. I'm gonna put some trees, and if you notice, all these little these little icons, these tiny little trees, tiny little mountains it's all tailor-made specifically for an overworld. So, uh, we're just gonna grab the trees, make a circle with them, make little patchy circles, connect them together. You know, just a classic, just a classic look. Just, you know, a bunch of little patchy tree crap. You know, same thing with the water, we're just gonna toss some water out there. Why not? You can all, you know, do mountains too big uh, desert area, and of course, overall wouldn't be much without any uh, places to go to, so we're going to go into tab B, say you want to go to a castle, and just slap a castle down there, you know, you can just make any kind of structure you want to place, and you can uh, have your character walk around this, and it basically works the same way as an area does, because it's pretty much the same thing. It just had to, just has a different look to it because uh, the trees, like, you know, they're not like the size of your character, like you're walking over them, like you're walking on top of them. You just get the feel that your character is, like, you know, larger than the things that, you know, surround them as opposed to being in an area where it's quite the opposite. Anyway, guys, that's basically what I was trying to uh, convey here. I really hope this video helped you. Uh, if you want to see more videos by me, I'm going to make some more tutorials, you know, I'm trying to get into, uh, you know, I'm going to gradually get into more in-depth stuff. I'm probably just going to touch on some tiles next, 
you know, basically just explain what these things are and, you know, what all these buttons mean and everything. But, uh, that's all for now. Um, I really hope this video helped you. If you want to see more videos about me, remember to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Alright, see you guys later.